Today is October 23, 2019 and over the course of the last several days I have been in contact via Divine Channel with the handlers of some of our most densely populated group of starseeds. They call themselves something completely different, and in a very different language, as do all of the known starseeds, but we use the same reference as not to confuse people. So I have been hearing from the entire system known as Alpha Centauri. Please keep in mind that we are working within dimensions and time that is higher and much further along than what we are experiencing here in this time. Remember these truths when you are thinking of what you know about places in the cosmos. The human now perspective and the information that is given to you by authority cannot be trusted 100% and you must remember that when you are checking in about truth, not only from this source but from many other. With that said, family we come to you today with messages for the star seeds from this system, known as the Centauri. I would like to make it known now that much of the very limited information about the, the Centauri is not accurate. In fact, the information about them makes them sounds like very confused and weak humans and star seeds with a chip on their shoulder, judgmental of others, negative dispositions and jealous tendencies when this is not the case at all. The Centauri are strong and dynamic, and have been waiting to be fully activated. This is just another Trojan horse sent through those who wear masks of seers, channelers, healers of the light, but in fact are not and are only agents of the dark putting out information meant to confuse those who are in the process of awakening. This happens a lot, in different ways and it is something every single light body must be aware of. There are many who are false and who are not who they say they are posing to be. A clue for you to recognize someone using you for any reason, a person who is not in service will be anyone working with dark, black magic, anyone casting spells and for the record angelics do not work with spells, anyone who says they use specific archangels to help you, and the like. You simply cannot be of the light and practice dark magic. Period. The light body collective do not work with dark energies, we work to eradicate dark energies, not give them more power. There are no exceptions to this rule and any terangelic or star seed or elemental will be very uncomfortable with any type of dark energy slash magic slash potions slash spells, etc. Those who work with the light know and work at such a high vibration that we do not need to call upon dark energies to work for us. The explicit advice to you from the High Council is, do not connect your energy with anyone who works in these ways, if you currently do, then stop. Cut energetic cords and do not associate with these people again, you may want to seek a true angelic or light body incarnate and to work with your energetic body to clear and balance it and help you cut those ties. This is very important because people who work with this type of energy can and do manipulate their clients. They cast spells on you, so you will be compelled to need them because you have opened the door for their dark entities to attack to you, track you and manipulate your world to a certain degree. They can cause you to feel things you wouldn't normally feel, to create experiences or they can manipulate those around you to create experiences that are all dark. Their aim is to always have you once they get you, for you to always feel like you need them and this is the energetic attachment. They have every different way to help you, and practice many modalities from the seemingly light to the dark and reference a lot of different metaphysical, galactic, sacred, angelic, demonic information. They do this to seem like they are legitimate and to gain your trust. As always, please be extra vigilant with who you work with and who you open up your energy to. Use discernment and recognize when you are being guided to or away from someone and why. Not all that you come into your awareness is good for you and not all is bad either even if it feels uncomfortable. This is when it gets tricky because any dark attachments to you will move you away from the light, making you feel uncomfortable and turning you off to true information and healing. You must stand in your sovereignty and feel where these fears are coming from. Is it to hold you back and guard you from what may be bad for you or are these feelings just your awareness of what is real and different but needed in your life and for your progress, what is right for you, not what is comfortable or easy, but what is right? Always go to your spirit guides, to your guardians directly to Jesus, 
or Gaia or any of us Archangels and ask for guidance. You do not have to figure any of this out alone and the more you ask the easier it is to get your answers and not live in confusion or fear. Now on to the messages. The Centauri are specifically coming to you today to reach out to those of the Light Body Collective, Incarnate and Awake. These star seeds are being sent activations at this time, and through this last stargate, 10.10.10.20 they would have noticed some intense sensations and disturbances that may still be going on, but should be getting better soon, however they will come around again over the next stargates. These would include intense head issues as activations during this time have been more specifically targeted at the third eye chakra, also feeling very tired, requiring long naps. Headaches, migraines, sinuses leaking, sneezing, pressure, feeling foggy, spaciness, daydreaming, being forgetful, losing things, at times being very agitated, having a difficult time getting physically comfortable over all surges of energy that is felt on the skin level, feeling tingles in the feet and legs, being guided to clean your surroundings including getting rid of things in your environment. Sudden charges and impulses to draw or doodle symbols and codes as well as the need to do research of ancient wisdoms, and places on Gaia and the metaphysics in general. There would be a specific surge to be more creative, especially with geometric shapes and sacred geometry and for many who have not been meditating, who have been making excuses and avoiding this. They were guided to mediate in the last few weeks and they have been able to follow through and do this more, even if it has been to lay in bed and begin to speak to their spirit tribes. All humans but especially the Light Body Collective are urged to meditate as often as possible as this is how connections are made and truths about the self, the soul, the mission will come through at these times as well as connecting with higher dimensions and beings who are there to assist you. We come to you today to talk about this specific time upon Gaia, and how this relates to the Light Body Collective and specific the Centauri Star Seeds. There are two groups of these light workers, some do cross over however it is not expected, this is how it was decided to work with the Centauri, much like the constellation itself, the part animal part man the Centauri work in this balanced way. Protests. Many of the Centauri are involved at this moment around the world in protests. Some of the Centauri have been called to do this work. While those who would be more vocal, on the ground and protesting are also star seeds, and mostly the Centauri incarnate, most of them will not escape the 3D matrix programs in their particular wake state, however, they will be dialed in when they are in astral. This is when they work with their handlers and the angelic realms and get directives and the light power to do this type of work. So we have the first group of the Centauri, those who are star seeds but not so much set to awaken like we know that to be, but to awaken to their missions to be part of the front lines of change. These are typically the younger generations that have grown up in places worldwide where they have been treated unfairly on multiple levels. These are also people who would go into governments themselves to seek change, and we have seen more of this happening in the recent years already, more is to come as government structures falter and are picked apart by those who seek a world of justice, peace and equality. The Centauri in particular have the history to handle these types of heightened and dangerous situations that are so negatively charged. While some star seeds would never consider participating in protests, dealing with elections or working in government due to their sensitivities with negative energy, the Centauri come from a system where they are able to burn negative energy much more easily than humans can, and do this naturally. Therefore, they can and do go into places that are dangerous and negative and are able to handle the energy. However, because they are human if they do not manage their energy they will physically falter with a many issues typically digestive in nature when they are young and then they almost all get heart conditions, unfortunately. The second group of the Centauri while physically being able to handle these situations, they would be mentally overwhelmed, they support and send their energy with the rest of us to those who fight to affect change in these very real ways. The reason for these two groups is that there needs to be some type of control over our warriors who are here upon Gaia to affect real change 
this happens with people who would protest the current conditions. However, to leave this type of work that is so important to fully asleep humans would be very risky and that is not how the light operate. The Centauri are working as a whole but there are two layers of work being done, the star seeds who are compelled to fight for their lives, to stand on the ground and face oppression and do this at the risk of their own lives in some cases. These star seeds have the ability to fully awaken, but that is not what their primary objective is, and if they were to fully awaken they would be compelled to do different work. That is not to say that the people who are protesting are only star seed protesters. Of course they have full lives, however their missions are in alignment with these types of outlooks on life, these energies, this need to get in the streets and make things happen which is different from many other star seeds, and therefore to the majority of the light body collective, they have not been seen as star seeds, and because they are awake only in their astral, sleep state they haven't known of themselves. The other side of the Centauri are the light bodies who have been sent to fully awaken. For some to be seers, teachers, a few will be energy healers, most will be called to do research and work with their handlers in astral meditation and during their sleep states to be given downloads of information to help the collective move forward. They will do this by pushing for the advancement of change in how we manufacture, how we work with Gaia and pollution, they will work to expose geoengineering. And they will also have a hand in seeing the great change take place of the awareness of health matters, and how energy is at the core of health, how we uncover truths about the true happenings upon this planet. The Centauri will be instrumental in pushing change forward for humanity on many levels. Much of this information will be on where and what to research and what to connect to in the future here upon Gaia and what we should be paying attention to. While the cosmos is very magical and mystical, the current technologies and technologies to come for even hundreds of years here will not afford humans the ability to travel to even the most nearest neighbor, which is Alpha Centauri, and Proximo B and C. It is good to have awareness of the cosmos, astronomy and space exploration to a certain degree. However much of what humans are able to come up with and calculate are guesses and they will never truly amount to anything. When we have sent information and visions and creative projects to those who would receive, they have told what is known as science fiction stories to the collective to expand the awareness of what is possible. How other races from distant areas of creation could undo come here, in many ways. This was to make the newest set of humans understand what is happening, not what is possible. Unfortunately, Humans have set their eyes to the skies instead of paying more attention to what is happening here. How these concepts of super technologies, space travel, of invasion, of different races working together, one side of the light and the other of the dark. The fact of the matter is that humans have been searching outward for their connections to their galactic neighbors when they have been here all along. Many have come and gone, and some come and go. However there are those who primarily stay here. They found a way to cohabitate with the human race because humans do not know they are here and no, we do not speak of starseeds. Starseeds are considered human, we speak of those who are in bodies other than human. They will be getting activated and downloaded more and more in the coming days, weeks and months to remember more of their origins, their connects to their spirit tribe and their handlers, more on handlers in a few minutes, and to begin to do the work individually and together with other incarnates and also with those in higher dimensions, to work with Gaia and our visitor residents who have been welcomed and loved by Gaia for a very long time. It is the limited perspective and information given to the human race from long ago that has shaped this reality that we are in the process of breaking. With that comes the understanding of many truths, and the Centauri are the largest group who will accept these truths and bring that to the forefront of humanity, of course this will come in waves. From the incarnates to those races of beings that live upon and within Gaia, Everyone is on the track of change and evolution and we have finally come to the place where we are able to awaken the light bodies to these truths so they may do the work they were put there to do. This is not to say that you are not already doing it, you most certainly are Centauri or otherwise. And of course, 
We want to make it clear that it will not only be the incarnated Centauri who do the work we mentioned, there are other incarnates that have chosen these paths, however as a whole it is the Centauri who have taken on these tasks as they are the most plentiful star seeds here, they have been closest to and worth with Gaia the longest, and although the Centauri on their home planets are very different in many, many ways to humans that is why they are here. To help humanity heal from the history of oppression, of the lies, the negative densities, separation, negative ways of living and adopt a unified way of thinking with each other and Gaia herself. They do this because the is the way of life for them, and after going through wars and protests much like we are experiencing here, they were able to change their ways and now live in harmony. We did much the same there as we are doing here, the details are very different however the main points are the same. There were negatively charged beings who took advantage of them, enslaved their bodies and minds and cultivated civilizations across a few planets that were under control of what is known as soul oppressors. This can happen in any system, to any intelligent planet and has prior to Gaia, not only to the Centauri, but in different pockets in creation. Eventually, we begin to reach the souls who have been oppressed. We use many and varied methods for doing this, and when I say, we I mean the High Council and the Galactic Command, which the Centauri are obviously a part of and became so over time after their shift. For the explanation of the concept of handlers this would mean that the Centauri starseeds have connections to their home planet in real time, these are the beings they connect to for direct guidance and support for their missions and these relationships have been mostly put on hold until the last few years for most of the Centauri. Now is when many of the Centauri are awakening on the more basic levels and the more and more they awaken, the more they connect with their souls, the more they heal they are able to access higher levels of awareness and then eventually work with their handlers in a very real and moment to moment basis and this is also why we come to you with these messages. To be aware of this for yourself, if you are Centauri and to be able to notice it in others and help them understand. These experiences with handlers is not something that is across the reality for all star seeds. Some have this capability but most do not and so for the Centauri, who would be experiencing this the most will be going through upgrades when they will begin to actively connect with their handlers and this process will feel different than other connections that they will have, such as the one with their soul or spirit guides such as Jesus, Guardian or Archangels. It is not possible to say exactly how these transmissions will come, or develop over time and we are not supposed to go down the list for various security reasons. However, for those of you who have been awoken, and have gone through at least 12 stargates in that state, you will be achieving this level of connection sooner than those who have not however it will be in small doses at first to establish connections. We can say that you should be aware of repeating themes, numbers and images from astral dream state or meditation. For the next year or two it will be about cultivating these psychic abilities, but remember family you cannot have an in tune, healthy receiver if you are not working with your entire vessel to clear and heal and connect with your spirit tribe first, and then go into the upper levels of consciousness awareness to connect with your handlers. For now, it is about clearing, healing and practicing a life of mission. And if you are Centauri, you will know you will feel it and you will be getting codes to affirm this. If you do not yet know one way or the other as to who or what you are, just be open to receive this information from your soul when the time is right. For some Centauri, transmissions and understandings are going to be easier and for some it will be more difficult. These transmissions are nearly 100% for the individual receiving them, meaning that these are not transmissions meant for the collective, such as this one. They are transmissions from their handlers are to the individual for their specific mission. In the light body collective we are all equally important and on mission and here to play a role in the restructuring of creation here on and for Gaia and it is important to remember that we need to work on and help ourselves before we can really do the outward work, although much of it happens simultaneously. As we work on our missions, we ascend. At this time we come to you to tell you that over the course of the next two stargates, November 11th through November 21st and December 12th to December 22nd, 
and on specific other dates that are set for activations, all of the light body collective will be sent upgrades, and depending on your frequency depends on what is in your orbit to catch and work within your physical system, what DNA upgrades and what conscious and subconscious upgrades you are able to integrate. If you know you are Centauri, it is a good idea to actively try to connect to your system and handlers, and that happens by intentions and that is truly the reason for these messages coming to you today. To make you aware that you are specifically in line to receive upgrades, downloads and messages that are specific to the Centauri and your missions. All star seeds and incarnates will be receiving their own downloads and upgrades through Stargates. However specific activations are happening to get the Centauri online like they haven't been prior. For all light bodies, it is advised to practice automatic writing and deeper astral mediation in order to more easily process through these incoming energies. Work with your crystals, and be in the element of water for mediation to help receive clearer information, and practice activating your third eye through natural DMT activations. The Centauri Progress and Angelics Those of angelic origin who have worked as and with the Centauri will be of the second type of the Centauri that we spoke about. These would be the angelics who incarnated as the Centauri during their transitions and have worked with them throughout their existence. These angelics will also be experiencing much of the same as the Centauri, however they do not have handlers they work in conjunction with the handlers to assist the Centauri and the rest of humanity towards the shift. These angelics will be working closely with the Centauri to help with spiritual connections, to heal and help guide and to balance out the logical, technical, scientific and research-based minds of the Centauri. A lot of these starseeds will have a sharp learning curve and will receive downloads that are very intense and will need help as they are not ones who have been tapped in spiritually, who believe in things they cannot see. Of course, this will change because they will begin to remember and connect the dots of their current lifetime and realize that they have been connected but did not understand. The Centauri Angelics and the Centauri will naturally gravitate towards each other and the Angelics will help assist the Centauri in understanding these concepts and because of their Angelic frequencies, the Centauri will be able to trust these particular Angelics more so than most people. Of course, Archangels know and have worked with the Centauri and all Archangels incarnate and in spirit form are of great comfort to the Centauri. The Centauri Angelics and Centauri make great business, work partnerships because they are tapped into to the collective mission of the Centauri. The Centauri are of one mind and for the collective, however when incarnate they are more loners, and prefer to work alone or in small groups, especially incarnated as humans and the Centauri Angelics will help the Centauri come together as a collective of their own as that is imperative for the mission. As we stated previously. The Centauri are primarily in charge of getting humanity to explore and understand Gaia and humanity, and how people and human bodies work, they are to help humanity get to the point to work with our galactic visitors, as they are the ambassadors of this region, and because of their evolved status, their proximity to Gaia and their history, and their still younger age group, which is under 35, are the perfect star seeds to do this work. While many other star seeds are meant to rise the vibration of Gaia, to work as healers and technicians on different levels of this mission, most are not here to do the frontline work, but are in support of those who are. Unfortunately, the concept of different Gaias came into play where the Light Collective were meant to believe different things, of course more lies filtered through who appears to be of the Light, but are not. The concept of there being a split. A reality in which the higher vibrational people would live in a harmonious state, leaving the 3D matrix to the others to stay in. To Gaia is essentially, an event that would cause massive collective change and everything would suddenly be different. There was also the story of the event, of disclosure of galactic life aka aliens that was to see about some great change. Several moments of disclosure have come and gone and nothing dramatic has happened. When I, Gabriel began working on my mission, working with Gaia and understanding things about the collective and receiving messages these were two of the first that I received and was to pass on again and again to the light body collective. 
1. There will be no split in dimensions or realities upon or with Gaia. 2. There is not going to be an event. We gave the information nearly a year ago, that the idea of there being a split in some cosmic event where most of humanity will be invisible to the rest of us is utterly untrue and is not something that will happen ever. To put energy into such lies and stories is to take away from reality. For there to be actual change upon Gaia it takes humans to make it happen, and it takes those of us incarnate to make it happen, and it takes our connections to make it happen. It will not just happen. Yes, each cosmic event such as eclipses, stargazes, new and full moons do push the awareness of the collective towards the new reality, towards the shift but not any one moment in time will cause some split or shift to happen and it will be a long time before the entirety of Gaia will be living in harmony, peace and higher consciousness. It will be well after these lifetimes, well after the next five, at least. So please, family do not concern yourselves with thing that everything upon Gaia is going to suddenly change, because it is not. We are the event, we are the first wave of incarnate light bodies awakening en masse, connecting with their souls, receiving truths, and uncovering lies and putting things in motion for the change we all know is real and is to come, however we are all starting at the beginning with so much on the horizon. Truly we just begun. It would overwhelming to think of all of the work that has to be done to witness once and for all a reality upon Gaia like it was meant to be, like we can go to in our higher dimensions and visit, as we have and do as often as we want, although many do not. We remind you that the only way to make the changes happen that you want to see in the world, for your brothers and sisters, for Gaia is to run into the fire, not away from it. We remind you that this is the time when a lot can happen to pull you away from what you know, from your missions and from your connections. We remind you that you are always making choices and putting energy to reality and creation and we are all a part of the scene on stage. As you look out, you look at yourself. So, if you want to see changes as you look out, know there are still changes that need to be made on the inside. You cannot do your part if you are half in and half out, if you are living different realities, if you are saying you want wellness and to be happy and healthy but you have not changed and opened up to the ways in which you have been guided. Resistance is the ultimate block in your advancement. No amount of downloads or stargates will help a person if they are shut down to what is happening. Stargates and downloads are constantly happening and much of those happenings do not affect the average human, and only affect some of the light body collective because not all are online in the proper vibration to receive these downloads and frequencies. Being passive in your ascension will only be a false start and you will be kept on a particular level because you are not actively moving upwards. Many light bodies are in a false start awakening at this time because of ideas that are holding them back from ascension. Only you can decide how far into the fire you want to go, and the more seriously you take yourself the more fire you will endure, but also more miracles and magic and beautiful connections with things you cannot see but you can feel and you begin to witness your own evolution, again and again. As with anything that is worth attaining, that so goes for ascension. And even the process of ascension can go in many different degrees of light and dark, and many of us have witnessed that over and over again. With each test and trail we are choosing and evolving. There are no right or wrong answers in this, it is all very individual as far as how you handle your life and mission your connections, the messages you receive, the energy you take in and put out. It is all up to you, always. But one thing to remember is that there is always going to be a force that opposes your ascension, your healing and your continued clearing, balance and flow no matter who you are as a light body. This is a reality. For some of us it will be more intense, but on any level this will be a part of your reality. For those of us who are on this path, we have seen and witnessed many people and situations in which the dark was working against us in various ways. Maybe you didn't realize this was a dark thing, but if you look back you can and will see certain situations that happened that were dark in nature, that distracted you and others and created chaos. 
For those who have decided to believe on of the great Trojan horses at this time, which is that the dark doesn't exist and that only if you focus on it or them or that reality can it affect you. This is the perfect light to put into place to make people believe that the dark doesn't really exist, that there are not in face parasites, entities, attachments and monsters attached to humans running their energy and their minds. Of course the dark does not want you to believe they exist. They live and rule in the shadows, in places and in a dimension that you cannot see. We have told you so many times that there are things that exist that attach directly to people to manipulate their energy for three reasons. 1. To feed off of their energy. However, the dark do not like positive energy, they like negative energy, so they manipulate people into creating negative energy for themselves and the people around them and the dark feeds of, of this energy. 2. To control humans and keep them in submission. If humans truly knew how powerful they are, and not just the light body collective, but all of humanity has great power within them, and if they knew this they would have a very different reality. The need for many things that create power and wealth that have to do with the various industries in domination at this time would not be needed, or drastically changed and therefore, the dark wants to keep humanity from the biggest discoveries of this world and themselves. 3. To attempt to keep the light body collective from waking up. To keep things the way they are. This is war, and unfortunately, the dark have no rules and only want to continue to keep humanity locked into the current matrix. Their very existence is at stake and this is why we see so many desperate moves on the part of the dark at this time, to keep things from changing. To try to oppress even more than before, to torture, to kill to attack Gaia herself in various ways, to use us against each other. None of this is new, it's just more intense than it has been because, despite their best efforts there are still a large number of the light body collective that are awakening and are steadfast in their missions of awakening and ascension. Some of us have been put in place to bring the truth no matter what. Some of us have been put in place to receive those truths and to change and live life accordingly, because we all know that we are here for a reason. We are here to make things better for ourselves and each other. Please stay aware of what is happening in your world to distract you, to keep you in a lower state of frequency, to keep you from going through healing procedures or lifestyle changes, etc. Much of these issues are fear-based and as most fears they are only there to keep you from moving forward, to keep you locked up and from your deeper connections not only with others who are incarnate but with your soul and spirit drive. Do not let ideas and conditioning to keep you from the truth, your truth and the truth of creation. Thank you for being here and receiving these messages, please share these messages with those in alignment and as always, check in with your own personal guides and guardians for your next steps and please reach out to me directly with any questions you may have via email or DM on Instagram, and you can book time with me from my website for clearing and healing for spiritual guidance and connections to your guides and guardians as well. Infinite Love and Blessings Infinity, Archangel Gabriel The Centauri The Galactic Command The High Council